Howdy folks, uh, doing a little bit of service today on this 450. Last time I was flying it, I noticed the tail was hunting a little bit. There's a little slop in here, and that's what's causing the hunting. Tail hunting can be caused by many problems, but a lot of times um, it's either caused by something sticking or something sloppy that we've got here. I'm just going to turn this upside down. This gives a better view of what's going on. So, you can see the slop. It uh, seems to be either in the ball, where the ball fits into the arm from the bearing holder, the bear or the bearing itself, or maybe even the slide shaft. First thing I'm going to do is take this arm off to see if we can isolate if the play is between the ball and the arm. Okay, with the arm off, it seemed to be nice and snug around the ball. As you can see, the play is still there. So either the bearing is shot or the slide collar has come loose. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the whole tail rotor assembly off. I'm just going to remove this M3 set screw to slide this all off the shaft. So the play is still there. So the question is, is it the bearing or the slide shaft? I'm just going to get a uh, small crescent wrench. Some thief has made way with me small crescent wrench. So yeah, we're going McGilla here, but on these on all these little slide shafts, on every helicopter I've seen, there's a flat on them. And these thread into the arm, the T-arm. Oh yeah, it's loose. So if we tighten it up, the slop is gone. And I'm just going to pull this out. They're threaded. Very fine thread on this one. Threads into the T-arm. And these often will come loose, even though the way the blade is spinning, they should be tightening. But vibration tails are usually high frequency vibration. And you know you can check the bearing as well in here. On bigger helicopters, these uh, bearing holders will generally have two bearings on either side. This looks like it's just got... Uh, oh no, there's two in there. So, I'm going to check the bearings, but obviously this was loose. So I've inspected the bearings. They seem to be fine. Cleaned everything up. So I'm going to slide the slider shaft through. And I'm just going to use Loctite 242, because that's what I've got handy. So this is just blue Loctite. I'm going to um, apply it to a dental tool. I don't want to apply it to the threads on the slide shaft here because as I screw it into the T-arm, uh, some of that Loctite, if I put too much on, you risk it oozing into the bearing. So I'm going to uh, put it in the T-arm. So I'm just going to put a little bit on this dental tool. And I'll just... Uh, Smear it around the inside of the threads here in the T-arm. And now we'll thread this in because it's such fine thread. It can sometimes take a little bit of a... Sometimes be a bit of a challenge to uh, line the threads up. Feels really stiff. Stop threading it. So that looks good. So we'll get out our Magilla Crescent wrench here and tighten her all the way up. It'd be easier if I took these blades off, wouldn't it? On these small ones, don't over tighten it or you'll crack the shaft where, it, where the threads are. So there we go, nice and tight. There's no more slop in it, still rotates nice and smooth. So we'll just put it back onto the helicopter now. Before you slide it on, check that uh, slide collar where you threaded it in. Uh, to make sure there's no blue Loctite or whatever type of Loctite you put in. If it's, any is oozed out and it's uh, in there, clean it out. I'm just going to clean off the shaft. Um, now is a good time to check the shaft axially for any play or radially for any play in the bearings. All feels good. I'm just going to put a little uh, light silicone grease on it. Not too much, just enough for the pitch slider. 
that slider shaft to slide against. Try to keep it out of the flat where your set screw goes. And now we'll slide this back on. Just make sure our blades are oriented right. Yep. And I'm just going to take this set screw out so we can put some Loctite on it. Make sure you're on the flat. Yep. End of the shaft should be flush with the end of the rotor hub. Tighten her down. Make sure it's butter smooth, which it is. And then we've got to get our little arm back on. Okay, again, I'm going to apply the Loctite in the hole, not on the screw. Just so if any oozes out, it's not going to ooze into the bearings. Just a little bit on there, I don't want. And then we'll just line this up. This would be easier if we popped it off the link, but I think we can get this going. Just start the screw, and then we'll just... Slide the ball up under there, tighten her down, and no more slop. And that's all there is to it. Go for a flight now, make sure the hunting is gone. Should be good. Cheers folks, happy flights.